Welcome to Smart Notebook 11, the Notebook Gallery 2.0 Beta. Smart explains the Smart Notebook Beta 2.0 version as a collaborative learning software. With a single search, you can now find images, interactive tools, and other gallery content that is saved on your computer or found on the Smart Exchange website. You can also search, browse, and manage gallery content using the new notebook software. Let's get started. The first thing we will need to do is click on the link to download the software. Next, we will need to click on the link to go to the notebook gallery download. Clicking on this will open up a new internet window. On the window, we can find information about the product information about installation and our location for downloads. This video we are downloading for Windows so we will be selecting the Download Gallery 2.0 beta for Windows and click download. At this time you will need to fill in your information. Now that we've clicked Smart Download the notebook gallery window will open. If you receive a message from Internet Explorer, you may need to go to the yellow bar and click download file. At this time you will click run, click run again, Now you will need to click on Next on the Installation Wizard. If you have a Smart Notebook open, you will need to close it and then click OK. Read the license, accept the terms, click Next. Click Install. And click Finish. Now you may close your internet windows and it's now time to open your notebook software. Now that the notebook has loaded, we will see a new tab under the add-ons tab on the left hand side. We will click on that and that will take us to the first section called gallery content. Gallery content includes resources from the Smart Exchange, Lesson Activity Examples, the Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0, and the Gallery Essentials. Notice in parentheses under the folders the numbers. Those are the items that are available in each of those folders. Let's start with the Smart Exchange. In order to access the Smart Exchange, you must have an active internet connection. Click on the folder, and this will take you to the gallery of online resources. There are over 15,000 resources available to you, and they have been categorized into the following folders. Arts and Design, Citizenship, Cross-Curricular, English is a Second Language, English Language Arts, Geography, Health and Physical Education, History, ICT, Library and Informational Services, Mathematics, Modern Foreign Languages, Music, Other, Religion, Science, Social Studies, and Special Education. Let's take a look at the Science folder. When we open the Science folder, we see that there are more than 5,000 different items, or 558 pages we would need to scan through to find an item. If we know we're specifically looking for a certain type of content, we can use the filter option. By clicking on the drop down arrow, we can filter all the items found in Smart Exchange by the following categories. In this instance, we're looking for a video only, so we will add a check side video and apply that. That will take our 5,000 items down to 34. 
Now we can look through the content of four pages to find a video. To use a piece of content from the gallery, click and drag it onto your notebook file. Depending on your internet connection will depend on the speed to which the item processes. Our video is now ready to be viewed. It is air's capacity to hold moisture and its ability to rise that contribute to the formation of thunderstorms. Thunderstorms can occur just about anywhere. Let's go back to the main folder in Smart Exchange. Perhaps you know the keyword of the item that you are looking for in the Smart Exchange. You can go to the search box and type that keyword. Press Enter or the search icon and it will search through the thousands and thousands of items found in the Smart Exchange, bringing up 147 in this case that have to do with fractions. Again, you could browse through the 17 pages until you find what you are looking for, select the item, and drag it into your notebook file. We now have 17 pages and 147 results for fractions. You may choose to continue to narrow down your search by choosing different options to filter. The next location in Gallery 2.0 Beta is the My Content folder. Click on the My Content folder. This is a place for you to save and manage your favorite gallery resources from within the gallery using this My Content category. The My Content category is the same My Content that was found in the original gallery under the word My Content. As you begin to collect and build resources, you will also have the ability to use filtering to help you locate your files, as well as a keyword search box. A nice addition to the My Content is a quick button to add new folders, where you can give your folders names and keep your content organized. Notice that after a folder is created, in parentheses is a number to tell you how many items have been stored in that folder. The drop down of the folder gives you the options to open it, paste, delete, and rename. Our final tab looks like a gear. If we click on that, we will see the user interface and information coming to us from Smart Technologies. There will be poll questions here that you can answer to help SMART better refine the beta version of Gallery 2.0. SMART Technologies wants to hear from you. Be sure to send your questions and comments to the Notebook Gallery Beta at smarttech.com. It is now your turn to install the SMART Gallery Beta 2.0 and get started.